Hello, welcome back. This is Christian. So in this lesson, we're going to learn how to remove the head node and the tail node. A little bit tricky, so we want to go over that first. So here is an example where we move the head node. All we have to do is basically do one operation and, uh, you know, update the head next. Actually, update the head to the next head next, and basically that's it. However, there's a case where maybe both the head and the tail are pointing to a single node. If that's the case, then you know, when we, we when in that case, we just basically uh, set both the head and the tail nodes to none, okay? We move the tail nodes, however, a little bit tricky as well. Um, right here is another diagram here. When we do that, we have to track the, um, the uh, again, there are a couple ways to do this, okay? So I, I mentioned in my pre previous video that usually we use two pointers, one for the current and the other one for the previous, so that when you reach the end, if the current node is pointing to the last node, then you can, uh, you know, assign the tail to the previous node, which is uh, perfectly fine. And the other method was I had said that you can also use a single node pointer to point, and you can check the dot next dot next. If this is the last node, and then we found that this is the tail already, so we just up, update the tail node to the current node. Okay, so I want to do this time using a singular uh, single. Uh, um, a node here. All right, so let's go and see how this is done. Now, before we continue, I think I discovered a bug in one of the previous videos. In the um, insert after function, there is a bug, I think, right here when we update the tail node. Okay, so notice that when we update the tail node, we updated that the current node is assigned to the current next node, right? And then the next next is point to the current node, but then the, the tail node, we check if we would check if the tail node is correct or not. And so if I say if the current dot next is none, in this case it's not true because we already assigned the current dot next to the new node. So therefore this will never be none, right? Because it's not true. So it, it will never update. So in this case it's not true. What I want to do here is that if not the current node, but it's with the new node Okay, because we sent the new node dot next to the current next node. So the next node could be empty, it could be not. But if it is empty, then we know that the next node is, the current node is gonna be the tail node. So therefore we update the tail node. Okay, so make sure you fix that on line 67 or in the uh, answer after key, when we check the tail node, make sure it says new node dot next and not current node dot next. Or you can say, her node dot next dot next, then that's correct too. Okay, so just one here that would fix it. All right, so now let's do a um, insert a remove of the head node first. That is the easier approach. So again, if you want to remove the head node, let's say the lobster here, for example, then basically we just check to see if this empty or not. So base case, right? So here we're gonna put it define a function called remove head. And we have to just say if self the head is indeed none, then return nothing, right? Just press the return. Okay. If that is not the case, then we want to go ahead and uh, check if the both heads are the same or not. So you can say if the self head is equal to the self tail. Um, if, if that's the case, okay. Then again, we just basically set the head to none and then update the tail as well. If you don't do that, if you just update the head, then the tail will be pointing to something else, okay? If, they are, if that's not the case, then we know that it's the else clause, right? <clears throat> that means that the head has one node and then the tail has at least a different node, so at least two nodes because they're not the same. So therefore it's very simple, just put the head to its Next node. Okay, and that's about it. And then don't forget to decrement the cell size by one. Okay, so let's test that first. Make sure we it works before you go on. So go back here again. And I'm gonna go down here, copy this. We'll put it down below here. And I wanna do a, um, we'll just say remove uh, head, okay. This time we're gonna move the head, which is the lobster. So we're gonna move the lobster, just one key. 
And if that's correct, the lobster should be removed. So let's let's clear this over here and start a fresh one. So, oops, uh, item, oh, oh, I forgot to do something maybe. The self uh, remove, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what did I do here? Insert before, missing more position item. Uh, let's see, I'll probably do something here. Um, where is it? Doesn't tell me where it is. Um, insert before, missing one. Okay, insert before, insert before. Let's go back. I'll probably remove something over here. Um, which one is it? Okay, it doesn't tell me where. Uh, before? Did I? Ah, uh, okay. My mistake it should be in my insert, it should be um, the move head. And we're not, yeah, it's the wrong function. Sorry about that. Let's clear that again. All right, so here we go. One more time. Okay, still not working. Hmm. Oh, I don't need actually, yeah, I don't need anything, right? Uh, yeah, I don't need anything to pass it because we actually basically remove the head. So it, it'll be the lobster that should be removed. And here we go. All right, thank you. So here we go. This is the list and we removed the lobster, which is the head. So now it's gone from that list. All right, so perfect. Now let's do the tail. So down here, be kind of similar. Remove tail. Make sure forget, don't forget to put anything to it. Okay, pass anything to it. <laughs> so it'll be if self.head is a none, then return nothing, right? Again, if the self.head is equal to self.tail, then same case as above. So both of be just remove assigned to none. If not, then we know that we have to update the tail. And the tail is, so we have to do a traversal, okay? Because we don't have, you, you, we have access to the tail, but you can't know the previous one, right? So we have to traverse this list. So I want to do a current node only assigned to this head, uh, not this, not Java. <laughs> and then I'm going to say while the current node dot next, okay, it's not equal to the tail. If it's not equal to tail, then I'm going to update the current node to the next node. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm assigning the current node to the head. So here again at the at the uh, you know lobster, right? I look at that. It's it's not. I look at the next node, right? The current next. Is this the tail? No, it's not. So I move here. Is this the tail? It's not. So I, until I reach to the rat here, the mouse. The mouse. I check the next node is the lion, and the lion is indeed the tails. If that's the case, then I stop traversing. My current node is still pointing to the mouse. Okay, so in this case, all I have to do is I move the, head, the tail to the mouse, which is the current node, and then set the current next pointer to none. So basically we move this node, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do. So if I keep doing that until I find that the next node is indeed the tail, then I'm out of the loop. And then here I'll just do uh, this self.tail is gonna be assigned to the current node. That is the new tail, and then the current node that next is equal to none, okay? And then uh, finally, out here, we just have to basically again update the size. All right, so we'll see if this is correct. I think that should be the case, but we'll see. Um, all right, so let's save this and let's go here again. So we already moved the head, we moved the lobster, the tail is indeed the lion, okay? So I'm gonna carve the line over here. And we will put right in below here. And we do remove tail. Yeah, this should be the tail. Put a comment here. Uh, this should be the lion. And this should be the lobster. I put it here so you can see. Okay, I'll be moving both of those from the head and the tail. So let's give it a try. So we go down in the bottom. We see that 
we removed the lobster from the head and we removed the lion from the tail. Okay, just to make sure it works again, we can do one more time. And this time we should move the frog and the mouse. Okay, so let's do one more time right below here. And um, we should probably remove, I should probably say remove head and tail. So it doesn't make sense. This time I'm gonna remove the frog right here from the head and the tail is gonna be the mouse. So let's see if this is correct. So here we go. Don't have the bottom again. Uh, let me clear this. Let's try a new run. Uh, doesn't matter much. So here we go. We move the uh, lobster first. So that leaves the head for the frog. And the head was the mouse. We removed the frog. We got the dog as the new head. And the pig is now the new tail. So perfect. All right, so you can see a little bit confusing here at first, but um, you know, not too bad. So again, this is very common, right? So again, you could have another function just to do this again and again. So in the next video, we're going to learn to remove an item from in between the node.